Okay, what we have is a uh, 2012 camera with a Packard MX-13 inside of it that would not start up after the fuel filters were replaced. This is the uh, main fuel filter housing that's actually on the engine. There's your uh, glass bowl filter as we call it here. At any rate, uh, the truck would run for about five minutes and then shut down completely. So what was happening, it, it was sucking the fuel out of this bowl and emptying it, but it was not refilling. Um, we thought maybe perhaps the wrong filter got put in, maybe the air ring wasn't seated correctly, so checked all that out. Um, looked at the uh, cap, there was no cracks. The air ring was in the correct spot, but yet yeah, you could prime this up and it would not run. Now the primer for these is right here, and you also have a bleeder. So this takes an 11 millimeter wrench, you open this up, unscrew this, you prime it until fuel comes out. Once it comes out, you close it off and prime it up, and then it'll start, which it was doing. But within five minutes, it would empty the bowl and not fill it back up again. So in this case, um, we checked out a few things and found that there is a check valve that goes inside of this stem and there it is this is a check valve that goes in here and there's a window in there where you can see a little plastic ball and then there's your fuel port right there where the ball is actually at now this ball is not supposed to be stuck inside there like that so I'm going to show you guys something here Let's see if I can get this bar so I took the cap off there's the ball as you can see the ball actually got sucked up inside which blocked off this fuel port right there and with that fuel port being blocked off it could not refill this fuel bowl back up again. Um, the Packard MX-13 is having problems with this check valve. Normally it'll fall out inside of the fuel housing and normally it doesn't cause too much issues. You just pull it back out. But this is the first one I've seen that actually sucked the ball up inside of this rubber piece. Now this, like I said, this pretty much goes in there like that. And uh, this cap goes over top of it. So that's normally this is all the way down inside of it. I don't want to push it down because I don't feel like fishing it back out. But that's this normally sits down inside there. So I just took a screwdriver and pried this out like so. And like I said. If the ball looks like that, then you're not going to get fuel into your fuel bowl. So if you have one that you just replace the filter on and it empties out the bowl, make sure the the check bowl didn't suck inside of itself like that. So hopefully that helps somebody out. Now what, what Packard is saying is they're recommending taking the bowl completely out and leaving it out. The reason why they put that ball in there is because if you put the, they didn't want you putting the wrong micron filter in here. So if it calls for a 10 and you put a 25 in there, what the ball is supposed to do is close off that port so it won't run until you put the correct filter back in it. But uh, they're having horrible issues with these check ball, uh, check balls, and. Um, they used to have a service kit. They discontinued the service kit. So now they're telling everybody just to take the ball out and leave it. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so we've taken the ball out of the rubber housing. So there's your check ball. Now, once again, Kenworth is saying the only reason why they put that in here is so you cannot install the wrong micron filter it has nothing to do 
with the running of the truck so if you have fuel issues then I wouldn't suspect that other than when it got sucked inside like I showed you earlier in the video so we're going to put this back in because they're saying that uh, you don't need the ball and so this rubber piece just goes inside here like this Then you have your window on the stem which only goes in one way. I have it in quite right there. There we go. There. Now it's in all the way. So that's how it normally looks when you pull the fuel filter out and then your check ball is in here in this window and what's been happening is the check ball normally falls out of this window inside this is the first one that I've seen where the check ball actually got sucked into itself blocking off the fuel port so uh, if you have one that won't run that'll run and then shuts off afterwards then you might want to make sure that check ball didn't plug off that port like I just showed you. Also, make sure you have the air ring on the on the correct land of your cap. I've seen people put the air ring on one of these screws instead. I normally don't fill them up. I'll let the primer do its job. You don't want to put too much torque on that. Now the next thing to do is get your 11 millimeter on this bleeder right here. Crack the bleeder open. Right. Sorry about that. I had to use two hands. Now you want to prime this until fuel starts to come out Yeah, just uh, go ahead and make sure that the um, there's no exhaust leaks or something like that. That's what he's complaining about. There we go. Okay. Yeah, bleeding it up. You have to bleed these so in case you run into this problem, till it clears out like that. And then when you get run fuel coming out of it. Okay, then you're ready to roll. Takes 11 millimeter wrench. So that's where the bleeders are on these. Then you want to give it a few more pumps after that until you feel it become rock solid. Yep. So, by theory, um, to check the valve, they say you don't need it to run. So, let's check it out. Go ahead and start it up. Let's let it run.
That old ball kept it from running. I cut it off. So this little ball right here. You don't need Don't need it. Kept it from running. The only reason why they put this ball in here is because they don't want you to put in the wrong micron filter in there. That's all it does. It has nothing to do with the fuel pressure, the engine or anything. Junk.